Now, if you're a complete beginner, but you're still really interested in taking the OCP, then in this video, I will cover the exact roadmap that you need to be able to achieve this desired outcome. So the first things that you need to be aware of is the fact that OCP is incredibly doable and that it's no reason to get overwhelmed by it, but it requires a lot of studying and the right type of studying. So hopefully I can help you a lot with the second part, but you have to want this and you have to put in the effort, but I'm more than happy to help you. And you will come to see that we have amazing resources to help you achieve just this. So, but before you do any of this, there's really some fundamental concepts that you have to understand. So the first one is just getting comfortable with the basics of Linux, right? It's because now as you can perform attacks on Windows as well, but the reason why Linux is recommended is because there's a lot more tools that is built for Linux. And if you're using something like Kali Linux, it's an operating system that has a lot of inbuilt hacking tool into it. So you don't have to install it or maintain it or struggle with any dependencies. It's just there and ready to go, right? So getting comfortable with Linux, being able to skid around, uh, change folders, create files, write some outputs, and really just get comfortable moving around and doing the basic, doing some grepping and echoing and all of that, that will be really useful. And uh, the second thing is just understanding the basics of networking, right? Uh, understanding what a VPN is, understanding what IP addresses is, understanding the difference between a public IP and an internal IP, okay? And understanding there, there's different ports and what some common ports are and how they look like, right? So when you go to a basic website, that port will typically typically be 443 because it's HTTPS website. If you go to a port 80, that's a HTTP website typically. Port 22 is SSH, um, 445 and 139 is SMB, right? Uh, 3389 is remote desktop or Windows. So there's really some really popular ports out there that is really handy to keep in mind. But there's really no reason you have to memorize this either, right? Because if you do a port scan with something like Nmap, you can Google this port and you will find out pretty quickly what this port actually is, okay? And if it's an, um, so yeah, understanding this, it's like the very basics. Now, um, the next thing that I will do or I would recommend is to create a free account on TryHackMe, okay? And then testing these two rooms right here that I will show in the video, okay? Feel free to use walkthrough, feel free to cheat, but make sure that you try to understand it, right? Um, you can ask me, you can search Google, look at the walkthrough, try to like see people do it on YouTube and explain how they do it. And then if you find out that this is actually something interesting to you and you would like to learn more and you would like to get better and better and better at hacking and you find it exciting and you really just want to get better and better and better and you find this stuff really intriguing, you want to learn more about cybersecurity, you want to understand how to hack bigger and more difficult things and really just become more competent and you just find this stuff interesting, right? Because I am pretty passionate about hacking and security in general, but it's just incredibly interesting, right? It's fun to hack, it's fun to get a shell. You get like a rush when you get access and it's just like a fun uh, mental challenge and you get better and you see yourself growing, growing and growing and you feel you become better and more confident over time and it's really, really cool. And eventually you will be able to do things that you thought wasn't possible and you get to explore all the weird and interesting intricacies of security as a whole. So, but just yeah, just try those basic rooms. If you like it, then I highly recommend that you join us in Hack Academy. And the reason being is because I have literally mapped out the perfect roadmaps. We have two courses that is assigned to teach all of the basics in Linux. And then we will teach all the basics like attacks when it comes to hacking websites, when it comes to hacking different protocols, doing scanning, uh, getting past some filters and breaking code and a lot of really cool things out there. And then once you get to the step where you can take the OCP or start preparing for the OCP, this is the certification that people really, really, really want because it allows you to get those crucial and cool roles like becoming a ethical hacker professionally and being paid a lot of money to hack into companies and do really, really cool things. And this is really needed as well. Companies love ethical hackers because they are trained in a very specific set of skills that allows them to keep them safe, okay? So you get to do something really cool and really fun and companies will really, really like you for it and pay you good money as well. So I really hope that sounds interesting. If it does, then make sure to check out Hack Academy. If you have any doubts, you can check out all the free material. We have a two hour free course on OCP, by the way. That's a little taste of the full course. That's about 14 hours or so. And I think you will absolutely love it. And if you have any doubts, any questions whatsoever, you could try out the Academy for free. 
So if you try it out, for, try it for six hours, learn six hours of free information, and you will learn a lot, by the way, if you actually learn. And if you don't like it, then fine, you can leave. But I think you would really, really like it. And I think you would want to stay. And I'm happy to help you with any questions. And so uh, it's for students, remember, no questions are too dumb at all. Okay, I really, I really want to reassure you of that. We don't want any toxic people. So if you ask me a question that you feel absolutely stupid for asking, please don't. I want to help you. I want to serve you. I want to help give you the best path possible so that you can actually achieve your dreams and go after the things that you find exciting. Okay, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below and please check out the Academy. I think you will absolutely love it. Just follow this video, do as I said, and I wish you the very best of luck. Thank you so much.